As far as Abbey Road is concerned, it was nothing more than really a publicity shot of the f Fab Four walking across the street and EMI said, um, hey, we've got to have an album cover by Wednesday and it's Monday. And so I did nothing really more than look at the, the transparencies of which it was 12 transparencies and say that one seems to work best. That was my only contribution to the art of it. My main contribution was deciding that we didn't really have to say on the cover the Beatles because this they, everyone's been waiting for this album for months, it's rumors are, are abound and if you don't recognize these dudes you know you, you've got to be living in a cave. I was not gonna put Abbey Road or the Beatles on the cover which caused uh, fits um, in EMI, the record company. And, and uh, yeah, I got phone calls from Sir Joseph Lockwood, who was running the place, saying, you can't do this, you're not going to sell any records. You know, da, da, da. The compromise, of course, was to put um, Abbey Road on the back cover. But they were threatening, you know, and I think it was George who said, no, 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 it'll work, it'll work, it'll work. The, the biggest bands in the world, you don't need to actually say who they are, everyone knows who they are, you know. Uh, it, it worked, it worked, but that was a, it was a major fire. I got threatening phone calls. <laughs> One of the rumours that started, of course, was Paul is dead. And the official Apple policy was neither to confirm or deny. So if we did get phone calls, which we did a lot in the middle of the night from all over the place, from America and wherever else, saying, you know, is that Paul? Um, and I would say, well, I th looks like him, I think it is. We wouldn't actually say whether it was or wasn't, and because, you know, uh, it was because he has bare feet, and the reason he had bare feet was he kicked his shoes off because they were too tight. You know, and there was the Volkswagen in the background, which I believe now is in the Stuttgart uh, Museum, that said 28 if, if he'd survived. You know, all his clues were just like, you know, rubbish. They would just happen to be there as a snapshot. I mean, oh, that's, that's, not, that's not fair to Ian McMillan who took the picture because it was not a snapshot. I mean, he was sitting on, you know, he was up on a stepladder and doing all this stuff and working really hard. Uh, but all the background was just serendipity. So, um, but it opened the doors for me, believe me. You know, it's it Paul dead. Oh, it, looks, it looks like him, you know, it worked. <laughs>